Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. So any white supremacist whose career is over can have their careers revived like Pearly. So many of y'all contacted me when you saw Muhammad Hijab interviews Pearly and, and you know, send me a message. Bro, you called it, bro. Of course I called it. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> that man is Negro Domus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What am I, what am I like, a, like what should we call it? Uh, uh, I, can, I can see the future, ain't nothing like that. It, it, when you see trends, you can't just close your eyes to the trends. This stuff is not new, it has happened before. Those of you who know history know this is this, all this stuff is not new. The only thing that's changed is the te technology and the, the breadth and the width and the speed of the carpet bagging because of the technology. Y'all hearing me? Your YouTube, you know, at least they, between all, how many of them? None of them have any original thoughts or ideas. None of them at all. All they do is they piggyback off the clout of degenerates like Sneeko and, and Tate and Pearly things, and, and that's it, right? And Fresh and Fit, and you know, you saw you saw Ali Dawa trying to make a Fresh and Fit podcast. <laughs> okay, you saw it with your own eyes. You saw that crap, all right? <laughs> I didn't do it. You see, family, Iblis, he was the first apostate, was he not? Iblis was the first person to leave submission to the will of God, correct? Which is Islam. But why did he apostate? Was it his disbelief in the existence of Allah? Was it his uh, kufr and shirk and worshiping other things? No, it wasn't any of that. He apostated because of his belief in his innate superiority over Adam. That is how he apostated. But he didn't just stop there. He began to rationalize it. It's one thing to believe in a thing, and he believed this. He already believed it, but he began to rationalize it. He began to justify it. And he said that it was the way that Allah created him as compared to Adam, which made him better. He literally said that he said, uh, Right? He said that you created him from the mud and you created me from fire. That's what he said. But he didn't stop there even. He did not stop there. He had this belief of superiority. He justified the belief of superiority. But he didn't stop there. He also claimed that even though he is superior, okay, <laughs> and he's created better, he also claimed to be some target of some injusted, injustice, somewhere inflicted on him by Allah himself. He said, because you have put me in error, I will surely sit and wait for them. Who put him in error? Allah put him in error. And because he is saying you have put me in error, I will surely sit and wait for them on your straight path. Now family, the command from Allah was for Adam to what? Bow down. All you have to do is bow down to Adam. All of the angels bow down to Adam, except for Iblis, correct? It was his arrogance that fused his back straight to befriend him for the battle, and then he blames Allah for it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? But don't stop there. He says, then I will come before them and from behind them, and from the left of them, from the right of them, and you will find most of them ungrateful to you. Now, when you look at the white supremacists, do they not have this innate belief that they are superior to black folk? Yes or no? One's in the chat, please. But not only do they have this innate belief, but they try to justify it, do they not? The white supremacists? They write entire books about it. We put out some of the books that they put about it as well. Literature about it. They make entire sciences about it, like anthropology, criminology. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 